Alright guys, we're almost done. Uh, last thing we need to do is solder the plug onto the uh, to the brushless motor so that we can plug it in to the ESC. Uh, we're going to go ahead and solder it on there and then we're going to plug in a battery and we're going to make sure that the, uh, the motor spins the correct direction and uh, go from there. Alright guys, so we soldered the, uh, the motor wire onto the plug, uh, plugged in a battery and powered up. The motor was not uh, turning the correct direction. So we just, uh, as per the instructions, you switch any two of the three wires, just switch any two. Uh, so we did that and we powered it back up and it is running, it is, uh, running now the correct direction. Uh, still not figuring out the uh, transmitter settings. There's a um, certain way you have to arm the ESC. Uh, still working on that, but um, I'm going to go ahead and put it back together and uh, see what we can figure out. All right, guys, so I'm throwing the uh, helicopter back together. I, uh, I did have some trouble plugging in the tail wire. I had to uh, loosen the screws and kind of pull the board out a little bit. Now, actually, that was the first try. I actually had to pull the board completely off to plug in the tail wire and, um, and then mount it back on there. Now I've got... Yeah, that's an annoying... That's not an annoying noise. But, uh, the light bulb's Now there. I've got the... Uh, I got the main shaft back in there. I'm going to plug back in my uh, servo wires, or I'm sorry, my uh, servo links, and um, and then and then I'm going to try to fly this thing and see what happens. All right, guys, we got this thing put back together. Uh, I'm not using my transmitter. I'm actually using uh, my friend's uh, uh, RC Jedi's transmitter with the MCPX setup. All I did was went in there and uh, threw a, a flat throttle curve onto uh, normal mode. Um, we'll see what happens here. I don't expect it to fly perfectly because it's, it's not set correctly, but uh, I just want to make sure everything works on it. So uh, we're going to plug it in. We're going to wait for the solid blue LED. And there it is. Now we're going to flip throttle hold on and off again. And then, I think that was right. We'll see. Yeah, that was right. Okay, so uh, basically you just let the, uh, once you turn your transmitter on, let the blue light go solid. Um, I'm sorry. Um, when you Make sure your throttle hold is on when you plug the battery into the uh, helicopter. Then flip throttle mold, um, uh, throttle hold off, and then back on again. It should arm it. All right, so let's put it on the ground and see what happens. So this is just uh All right, well it flies. Definitely need to work on the transmitter settings, but the uh everything works the way it should. Other than I'm not using the correct program. So uh I, uh, I hope this video helps you guys with your brushless install. Thank you for watching.